Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the subterranean shunning grounds in Elden Ring. The subterranean shunning grounds are a massive network of sewers located under Leyendale Royal Capital, and while this guide won't show you every single thing that is in the sewers, it will show you how to get all the way through it, and show you where a couple of important features are. To start this run, we're going to go to the Avenue Balcony Site of Grace, which is located in Landell Royal Capital. Before we start the run, we are going to turn on our lantern because we're going to be underground and it is very, very dark in many of the places there. And to get to the subterranean shining grounds, we're first going to hang a left past the stairs and then we're going to hop over this fence and get down below and we're looking for a well and the well is located right here and we're going to jump down into it and uh, when we do that, we're going to find ourselves in the sewers. This run, I try to fight as little as possible. Obviously, you do not have to do that. Please feel free to kill everything in here. But uh, for the sake of expedience, I am going to try to avoid as many mobs as possible. The subterranean shunning grounds are a very, very complicated maze-like network of tunnels. And it's very easy to get turned around because everything looks exactly the same. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start from the subterranean shunning grounds... Uh, Site of Grace, which is located right here. And fortunately, one nice feature of the Shunning Grounds is that often it's going to open up new ways of getting back to this Site of Grace. So even if you don't complete this entirely, you might have partially finished the run. So, the first challenging section of uh, the Subterranean Shunning Grounds is the pipes. You're going to get very sick of being in pipes. They're going to get very confusing, so I recommend throwing crystals down to keep track of where you've been. The second issue is, is that there are holes that you can fall into, and so you're going to want to hop over those. Uh, if you do hop into them, it's not the end of the world. You can make your way back out, and if you've got crystals down, you'll know where you have been. Once you get through the door on the right, you are going to be uh, jump scared by a couple of slugs, but uh, don't let them get to you. They don't mean much by it. Next, you're going to come up against uh, an enemy at top of a ladder, but fortunately he's really stupid and falls down, so you can just run right past him, which is awesome. Next, you're going to come to a door that uh, will allow you to proceed on through. But before you do that, do open the portcullis to your right, because that leads back to the Site of Grace, which is, means that this is really the first checkpoint of the run. At this point, there isn't much too surprising, so I'm going to let the video speak for itself for a little bit, and I'll chime in whenever there's something very, very important. You'll notice there are two ladders in this area. The one on the left is actually one that you kick down as a shortcut, um, though we don't use it in this run. But uh, if you are so inclined, you can use that ladder on your left if you've kicked it down later. Once you get to the top of this ladder, you will see another doorway past this walkway. When you open that doorway, you will see the Site of Grace that we started at, so this is the second checkpoint of the run.
On the left here is the ladder I was mentioning earlier that you need to kick down. And the only reason you really need to kick it down is in case you mess up this jump and fall uh, down below. That way you can get back up without having to proceed through the whole area. Once you're in this pipe, the thing that you're going to be looking for is a particular hole to jump down into. And now it isn't the first one we encounter, it is the second one. So the first one we're going to jump over right here. And we're going to be met with a very large rat, which uh, is pretty easy to dispatch. And then we're going to find ourselves a second hole to jump down. And once we get past that second hole, we are almost done this. Once you round this corner, you will see a ladder, which is a good indication that you're almost done. This message says it all. Praise the victory indeed. Slide down the ladder and you will see a few pots. You might think that that large one is your friend. That is not your friend. Don't get too close to it. It will attack you. There is an elevator on the right, and uh, I need to call it back up myself, but it will be right there waiting for you. And when you go and stand on the plate, the elevator will descend, and at the bottom of the elevator will be a sight of grace past that site of grace is a boss and if you don't want to see any spoilers to the boss i'm going to put a little spoiler warning in right now uh just jump to seven minutes and 11 seconds in this video and you won't see anything about the boss or the items that that boss gives you the boss is mog the omen and he's an absolute beast it definitely didn't take me several tries to get that boss that's for sure but if you do manage to beat moog the boss you will get the blood flame talons and you will also get a sight of grace so you can collect the sight of grace and there is a treasure chest that is located past the sight of grace which has in my opinion one of the best talismans in the game and that talisman i'm just going to open the chest right here uh, that talisman is the air tree favor plus one so let me just pick it up right here and this talisman provides you with extra health stamina and weight capacity one of the best and finally some of you may just want to go to the shunning grounds to find the dung eater for his quest line the dung eater is located in a jail cell in the shunning ground so starting at the shunning ground site of grace uh, as before just drop down this hole and instead of heading right through the pipe you are now going to head all the way to the end of this tunnel and hang a left you will see a series of plants just run past them they're plants they're not going to chase you and get to this ladder now every single time i've climbed this ladder this plant has tried to to electrocute me but it hasn't gotten me yet so I'm gonna say that it is safe for you to do this and when you get to the top of the ladder you're going to be uh, meeting your old friends the the hand monsters but fortunately for me they've all been cleared out but uh, there are hand monsters here and here is the jail cell you, you will need his key in order to open the jail cell but here is the dung eater which I totally didn't accidentally kill because I was uh, tabbed out and when I tabbed in I accidentally hit him no I wouldn't have done that that would be dumb do you have any more tips about the subterranean shunning grounds? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there!